The nurse indicted in the death of a Forsyth County inmate has pleaded not guilty. Good evening, I'm Chad Silver. A grand jury decided not to charge the detention officers who restrained John Neville back in 2019. They did charge the nurse Michelle Hewins with involuntary manslaughter. WFMY News 2's Amber Lake dug into the court documents tonight, laying out her claims about that day almost three years ago and why she believes she's innocent. Forsyth County Court officials said Michelle Hewings appeared in court today where she made her plea. She faces one charge of involuntary manslaughter. Last week, her team of attorneys filed several motions in court. Hewings and her attorneys lay out their version of what exactly happened in the detention center that day. She says John Neville was experiencing a medical emergency in his cell, but he would not sit still long enough for her to conduct any tests. She says that's when detention officers came in to restrain him and bring him to another cell. Once there, Nurse Hewings noted that Neville was breathing and had a pulse. She then had to leave the room and observe through a window. When officers let her back in, she found that Neville did not have a pulse and she began CPR, telling the officers to call 911. Nurse Hewings argues she had no part in the restraining of Neville and therefore did not contribute to his death. In fact, in her motion to dismiss the case, she pins the blame back on to the detention officers. It reads in part, quote, Put simply, John Neville's death was caused by the acts of the detention officers exercising their duty to maintain his custody, end quote. Hewings also filed a motion for a bill of particulars. That means she wants the state to specifically state what exactly she did wrong and why she's to blame. She claims prosecutors have yet to do this. She also claims her actions were not reckless or unlawful. She says the whole incident was an accident. So far, the state maintains she is partially responsible. The case will continue. Still, it's unclear when Hewings will be back in court.